Hey, and welcome to Crippled System Battle Report 20. My name is Andy. I'm your host for this wonderful excursion here of Cricks versus Trolls. And we got two players here, chosen list from the Pooper Potato thread on uh, the Muse forums. Uh, so, I don't know. We introduce some folks, right. too. Well, I'm Troll Jeff. I'll be playing the Troll Bloods poorly. And I'm Dan, and I'll be playing Cricks. Yay! So right now, we're actually going through some technical difficulties with uh, the stream at this time. <laughs> so we're waiting until we get the stream going before we can actually uh, start with the action. So you guys had uh, any thoughts about the list you were playing at all? Oh, I guess I can start off. Um, my list was a pretty standard, uh, well, I shouldn't say pretty standard calendar list. It was a um, routine kind of calendar list for what I'm used to seeing. Um, it you can't see them on the tail right now, but there's a bat. Well, not very well. There's a batch of Nis that in there. Um, it has um, rock. It has an impaler. It has an axer, and it has um, and I, I'll mispronounce this, but Dahlia and Scarath. 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 Snake Lady. Um, yeah. Um, along with a uh, Horgle running a slag troll. It's got a feral geist mixed in there, and a rune bear and Janessa. Um, and I could I could tell pretty much by by looking at the list the the whole point was kind of use super high defense um, Nis with some um, Starcross to make it miserable and Snake Lady make, to just cause additional problems along the line along those same veins. I don't know if that's what the uh, the develop the creator of the list was intending or not, but that's what I saw when I uh, looked at it. Oh, yep. All right, and then my list uh, was Terminus with a uh, Thrall and a Death Ripper. Uh, Tartarus, Dara Wrath, Madeline Corbeau, Saxon Auroch, Wrong Eye and Snapjaw, two Pistol Wraiths, uh, Max Bane Thralls with UA, uh, and Min Bile Thralls. The list as it was posted in the thread was five points short, but after discussing with a little bit and several people, and just for my own personal preferences, I added in the Wither Shadow Combine as the last five points, as it seemed like a good fit because Terminus loves free upkeep some Puppet Masters, mm -hmm. and this list is already using every good Crix character anyways. <laughs> so it seemed that if we're going to load it that high up to begin with, we might as well just go for the full boat. You didn't want to put in like a min unit of uh, you know, no. boarding party? <laughs> I suppose you got a point when you've already got how many different characters in that list? Yeah, yeah there was already... One, two, you, three, you could have fit Gerlock in there. There are already five other characters, so... <laughs> you could have fit Gerlock in there. You could! Although, yeah. I would still swap out one of the pistol rays for him instead if you were going to do something like that. So, uh, before camera started, we did roll off for sides, and I won the roll to go first, and uh, Jeff chose the side with a wall on a hill. And Nathan decided to cover up the awesome crippled system zone there with a hill. You can still see one of the two. Yeah. <laughs> Choose our imaginations. The, the logo beneath the hill is even more awesome than the regular one you can see. Yep. You'll also trust us on that. So I'm just finishing up my uh, standard deployment. Um, pretty standard Terminus and main thralls in front, Biles behind and support, and then a Pistol Wraith on each flank. How close do you have Corbeau? Uh, she is actually outside of A-bomb range. Okay. Uh, normally, I do run her right up against Terminus yeah. uh, for the extra command range, but I decided in this match... Um, since most of the stuff I cared about had tough anyways, I was more interested in the movement than the extra command. So I kept her out of A-bomb range. I've only done it once, but having her fail the before-the-game A-bomb check really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, it's better than Mark 1, where they would just run off the field then. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I've, I've had that happen with my Nis Raptors back in the day. I just do about anything where it's just because your, your deployment zone is the same as the run speed or less. And just, well, I, I'm tired of fighting later, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm setting up uh, my half. And basically, just since there was only one unit of infantry and everything else was, was a beast, I kind of had to sit there and run the, uh, the NIS up the middle. I could have put them on a flank, but with so many banes and threat extensions running around the crick side, I really needed to make certain that, that he... To, to limit what things could just decide to get to Calandra. Um, so that, that's why the Nists are going in the middle. Um, I'm putting the, the snake far off on a flank. Um, I found historically she tends to work better that way. Um, I'm assuming the snake is a girl. Maybe it's not. Yeah, Dolly's a girl. 
No, no, Dolly is a girl. But, oh, but the, you, you're trying to find snake. out the snake? Yeah. You didn't check the sex of the snake? I, I, I wouldn't know how. Oh, well, you need to get in touch with the crocodile hunter. Um, he, He'd be able to tell you. We'll find him over in the Crick's list. Stingray's still <laughs> stuck in his chest. Oh, jeez. Oh, seriously. Come on. Too soon. That's true, though. It, it is true. Yes. Um, and then the rest of me just kind of fuss around trying to figure out where I can get everything else with those nests, you know, solidly in the middle like that. Um, one of the things I did, I do like about this list, and I do it a lot when on my own list building, is it's got that really nice rock axe or uh, dahlia bundle, because both primal from rock and rush from the axer will work on on the snake. Mm. So you can get a really nice threat range out of it, and push comes to shove, you can also turn the you make the snake pretty vicious at mat eight power uh, eighteen. Yeah, yeah no, the, the snake is actually pretty legit. I've been seriously, I've been running a lot of ADR with my retribution, and I've been seriously thinking about putting it in there just just for the off chance where I'm going to go against like butcher three. Now, yeah, I've even, had I once lived the dream and played against Claws of the Dragons with trolls and had ADR take I mean, had a uh, Dahlia take out three units of black dragons. By just running around and <laughs> completely locking them down for yeah. most of the game, and then running between Jarl and Butcher for the last five turns of the game, just going, "All right, Butcher, you can kill me, but I'll take you five focus." Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that, that's basically what you got to do. And especially in this matchup, I knew that Dolly herself was going to be pretty much useless. The 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 haunting melody, or I think it's haunting melody, yeah, yep. um, isn't it was going to affect uh, Wrong Eye and Snap Jaw. Yeah, because uh, they're only living models there. No, there's Corvo, but she doesn't even have a weapon, does she? Nope. Yeah. No. Nope. Um, and other than that, it was basically she could use her focus to throw around the... Or Fury to throw around the uh, snake's animus and uh, give him Pathfinder and Prowl, which wasn't going to amount to too much. The shooting wasn't exactly there. Pathfinder could be helpful, but I've got Rush for that, too. So it looks like Terminus and his uh, Bane Bane Onslaught are moving up. Yep. Pretty standard Terminus first turn. Yep. Cast uh, Malediction and Charge. Everything else just runs up. Just big old ball of hate. Um, so he's, run- got, he's got one Arc Node in there? That's mm-hmm. that's weird that Terminus has an Arc Node. <laughs> he guessed in the jack point somehow. I have occasionally gotten some really interesting uses out of that. Um I played around with a variation last year with Terminus that I also had a Warwick Shiren, so you could run it up there for free. Yep. Every so often, early turns, people will clump up stuff and give you a really good annihilation shot mm. early game. Uh, and if you can get three or four souls off of it and stay in a pretty protected position, sure. it can put you in a really good position going in the feet turn when yep. you have nine or ten focus going mm. into it. It should be noted that I was also doing the commentary for this uh, during the actual broadcast. Um, but during this time... We weren't paying attention to it because we were running through a horrible amount of technical difficulties. So all this is new to me <laughs> until the end of the game, which I'm not going to spoil. Yeah, now nah, we'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, like I said, just about everything ran or charged forward. Uh, I took full advantage of the lake to uh, charge Snapjaw right through it and just kind of smile. He likes uh, some amphibious. Yep. Now, most of the game, I was staring at that map going, I really, really wish I had an Earthborn, because there's that, that chunk right between <laughs> that wall and that pool of water. That looks like a Earthborn heaven. Yeah, just about. If the, if the hill were a little bit closer to those two items, you put the Earthborn up on the hill, really make him an obstacle. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, this, so we messed up on terrain features then, because they should be all all with uh, four, the three inches of each other. Because that, that wall and... Uh... Or that uh, the wall is the fine. Lake. I think the lake is a little close. Yeah, is is the lake on the restricted stuff? It is. It's unrestricted, so it just has to be three inches away from other stuff, and it looks yeah. like it's yeah a little more than two. Yeah, but for for all of that, it makes a difference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, not not everything actually has to be set up in a steamroller style tournament setting. The the reason why they do that now is to make it so like colossals can actually fit through things now, which right. is it, the it, big it, thing. I remember with even like the battle engines where I knew I was playing a game up against a Legion player and, and he, he was so happy he flew his throne of Everblight into this really cool like temple thing, no problems at all, and then realized that, that the base was so large it had to run to actually leave it as well. It couldn't charge <laughs> out and clear the back half of the base. <laughs> nice. So moments like that. Um 
All right, so it looks like time is over on to Jeff now. Yep, um, and basically have to run forward with the NIS. Um, with with between all the stealth and and other models, I I couldn't just decide to sit back and try to play the range game with just the NIS. Um, otherwise, terms are just gonna fill into the zone and laugh at me before he kills me. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's hard to deal with stealth with uh, some armies. I mean, if you don't have any like AOEs that you can chuck over there, and uh, unfortunately with Cricks too, we're well, not unfortunate, but good thing for Cricks, I guess, is that uh, they have so decent armor that can survive some AOEs. Yeah, well, and Cricks is always a rough matchup for Trollbloods. It's it's one of the uh, less entertaining ones. All right, so it may not be clear there, but uh, Clantra basically, uh, or not, was the Rune Bearer doing this thing. Um, Calandra moves up and actually puts Bolt Dodger on on the snake. Um, most most games when I when I feel Calandra, it tends to go on her right away just because I'm concerned about the chunky troll getting shot off the board. But I was less concerned about that here, and more concerned about the pistol wraith just being able to decide to lock down my beasts. Mm. And so I figured I could make that that thing a defense sixteen versus guns, and that'd be enough discouragement for a pistol wraith. It's base fourteen. Base fourteen. Yeah. Base fourteen. Well, no, still the, needs sevens to hit. I mean, that, but it definitely adding well, the plus two, two makes it when mm-hmm. it needs nines. Then yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. No, I agree and with and that. I'll take and I don't care if it gets hit once, but the odds of, of three nines connecting. Correct. <laughs> I I think someone be, would be a little foolhardy to take the chance at that. I I would. <laughs> well, most and, of the, the and then my dice would probably probably do well enough, and they're being angry. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I, I've got no words for that. You can't, you can't beat dice that are that hot. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, and everything else is just. I said I, I knew both those pistol rates were going to be such a big problem, is because I only really had two heavy hitters, um, and with two pistol rates on the board, and no way to really hide them, I just I had to do everything I could to stop the pistol rates from having super free reign. So, Rock parks himself up on the hill. Um, Horrell puts hot shot in that slag troll. And then guess where the slag troll goes? Right up on the hill. <laughs> no stone in this either, so that's that, um, that'll help. I, I don't really blame that at all, though, because the the um, the cross stone doesn't do a whole lot for Calandra. Um, Especially this, I mean, when your main unit smirks and stuff like that. Yeah, it, like it, it can be helpful. The cross stone can help anything, but I usually feel that you can find a better use for three or four points in in Calandra's list than putting the cross stone out there. Um, Plus, she likes to spend a lot of focus or yeah. keep it for rerolls. So either way, it's hard to fill it, especially if you go second. Yeah, so that was your uh, your fellow guys that you put in the center. Oh there, yeah, then, right? yeah, yeah. Just getting it close to a couple beasts when they, for, for when I figured they would die. Um, and basically, everything else is just kind of surging forward. Because um, I figured I get them close enough where I where the where the bane thralls wouldn't necessarily be able to to charge them, or at least not to the point where they'd want to. Um, and just see what I can do because, like, there, yes, there are guns in this list, but it's the shooting is spotty. It's very, very targeted and precise, with the exception of if your opponent's generous enough to give you a good rock spray or uh, or assault spray, or you can get the snake into position. Um, you'll see me move Dolly up there behind the uh, the hedge there, and then the snake will bolt forward. Spoilers, right? Um. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> and so I figure get get up there, get in the zone, um, relying on like bullet dodger going like okay, defense fourteen. Even if something gets up into melee with star crossed up on Calandra, the snake could could shift out of a. Or could and shift you out of also melee. cast uh, serpent strike on it as well. Yes, yeah. So it was just it was it was meant to be kind of a uh, a, a tempting but dangerous target. Yeah, so I left, I left it in... Meant, meant in a, it sounds like it's a past tense, so something might happen to him. <laughs> I, I won't say any more. Um, <laughs> so here... I, well, I mean, it, it'll, I think it happens pretty shortly. Yeah. So here I'm debating a few different things, uh, doing the math in my head to figure out if the pistol wraith on the left flank can lock up uh, the snake... Uh, and I came to the same conclusion. Defense 14 with bullet dodger on a hill means I need 11s or 9s aiming, and that's not going to happen three times in a row. No, no. And even walking up to get rid of the hill, I still need 9s, which still is not going to happen. Correct. Uh, the other thing I'm actually debating is whether it's worth sending a bile throw forward because I thought I could maybe get one or two of the NIS. 
It's with a, a long walk. It's with with a death ride. I mean, it's like at max range, but you know, I'm checking it again. And like I said, I might have been able to clip one or two, mm-hmm. but basically having to move the entire ball of death in just the perfect yeah. way to do it, you I decided it just wasn't. Army. Yeah, it wasn't really worth it. What you could do is you could have moved all of your banes up first, and then walk up the bile thrall, and then purge. But this isn't Gatsby too, so that's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't understand. Come on, you, you, you know, you're all about. But then they'd be all tough too, and uh, with corrosion. If I'm going to do that far, I'm going to pull the full Brian and accidentally leave the uh, last bane thrall or the bane thrall standard out of formation, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> tricks yep. so yeah here you're just flooring up the the wall of banes yep um, so my usual terminus formation so four or five in the front rank and then just a nice little you know circle with a three inch hole in the middle of it mm-hmm. well i mean and and like like even at that point in time i could tell exactly how it was going to work because my options at that point are let the bane thralls get me or i rush up kill the bane thralls and then one bile takes care of everything that took care of the banes Terminus moves up and does his thing. Oh, yeah. I, another thing that it took me a while to remember this every game, but he does have a 10-inch spray. Yeah, nobody mm-hmm. nobody really uses it. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, he's only rat 5, but, you know, you got nothing better to do. You might yeah. as well uh, fire it off. Oh, checking to see if uh, Starcross, Starcross is yep. in the Yeah, he was, like, he was just barely towed in. Yeah. So he needed some astronomical dice to hit those two nests. But mm-hmm. for a throwaway attack. Yeah. Why not? I mean, it, it, there's no reason not to. Unless, yeah, no, there really isn't. Yeah, that's the only reason you wouldn't use it is if there was something like bullet dodger or something yeah. of that nature that give your opponent free movement. Or you were exceptionally this. concerned about time. You yeah. Know. Yeah, that nine it wasn't even good enough. So. Yep. God, bullet dodger is such a thing. Well, that was that was Starcross that was. Oh, that, 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 that's mm-hmm. what yeah. I mean. Is Starcross is such a thing. It's such oh, a. It would be broken as hell on anything that wasn't Troll Bloods. It's bad enough. There. Yeah, I once saw a uh, spell draft game with Harvey with Starcross. <laughs> oh yeah, not appropriate. <laughs> not appropriate. Yeah, uh, that same Harvey also had Burning Ash from High Reclaimer. God. So once you got through the ten clouds, you know, <laughs> we're getting close enough to actually do something. Then Starcross went up. Oh, was blah, blah, blah. all right. Yeah. So at this point. I've decided that Rock has to be locked up, so I go ahead and cast uh, Puppet Strings on one of the pistol rays. Oh, nice. I fig- I, that, For my side of the table, that was a foregone conclusion. Like, I didn't know what else that pistol race was going to end up doing anyways. Mm-hmm. But Rock, like I said, Rock especially needs to get locked up because of the crit freeze on his spray. You know. Yeah. Granted, I mean, it's going to be hard to get Terminus, but I mean, there's still this that spray can do so much damage to this list just because it revolves in such a tight little ball. Right. Because like, like basically, if I were to magically get Rock up to that charge right now, which I mean, guess with a rush up could probably do it. Oh, yeah. You easily I could, I could were in charge range. Four or five Banes. Banes. Yep. And, you know, or Terminus for funsies. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just checking for Starcross. Not it. So hits Rock. And, you know, it does, yeah, it does one. Yeah, no, you're not, you're not you shooting really at him to hurt him. Yeah, yep. you usually don't care about damage with them, and it's just yeah. a bonus if you do damage. Exactly. <laughs> and the puppet strings caused that second hit there, and yep. another point, and, and then of course here's I was hoping like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and no such luck. Yeah, because you still needed um you need sevens to hit, which correct terrible, but three sevens in a row is moving into a little risky. Yeah. Yep. So, Rock is death chilled. So you have two pistol rays in there, then. Correct. Yes, okay. one on each flank. All right. Yeah, I, I end up usually running them together, kind of close to each other, just for that one time where you know he, he doesn't get the job done. But, well, I mean, there, there's different approaches. You put yeah. one on each flank; they can in theory lock down two critters on one turn. You put them on the same flank; you can alternate. Well, and the other thing is, in outflank, putting an incorporal model on each zone oh, can true. also just be. Annoying as all hell, especially yeah. against Jeff's list where I think there is uh, Calandra and Janissa are the only two magical attacks. Uh, yep, that is it. So, I mean, that's, uh, a, that's, Rock. that's a traditional Trollwood problem anyway. I think Rock's Axe is it magical. Is not. It is not? Nope. Hmm. It's just held by a big troll. Okay. It's got its own special kind of magic, but it doesn't hurt incorporal things. Mm. 
Yeah, and so I had forgotten about the extended charge range for for living critters. Oh. Yeah. Um, but even then, I was at, at this point in time, I was confident I was going to take some damage, but I didn't think it was going to kill the snake. Mm. Because because needing eights under Starcrossed with four Fury to go for it. Yep. Like he he had to boost, you know, not yeah, an I, option. Because otherwise, those eights would have turned to misses real easy. Yep. Um, and good damage because the snake's got some pretty bad armor. Yeah, that's the thing is the bites are dites plus one. So. Is it armor 16 then? It's armor yeah. 16. Yeah, it's yeah. a 14 16 in Serpentine. It's mm-hmm. built kind of like a Seraph is. Yep. Um, and then gets another one through the Star Cross. Yeah, I, um, I appreciate you using Casino Dice on here. They're very easy to read. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that was the Tail Slap, which. It did three, I think. It's yep. Dice off two, so yeah, it did four. Yep. And I buy and boost a bite, and then I'm I'm full at this point, but I've done about mm-hmm. half. Yeah, and Jesus, Ooh. dice rolls. <laughs> <laughs> And then just to, oh yeah, yeah, finish Jesus. it off. Two points less damage. The snake would have lived. <laughs> Ouch! Yeah. yeah. So that that really stung. I in order to fight that list, I needed that snake alive. Yeah. And I, it uh, didn't matter if the gator engaged the snake or not, because I could have dealt with that. Yeah. Yep. I just needed the snake to not die, and like you just slightly worse dice, and it would have it would have pretty much walked away because you didn't have anything else to hurt it did you no i really that was my intent on that was actually just to tie it up and make you deal with snapjaw yeah i mean i figured i'd probably be trading snapjaw for locking him in place a turn and after that then i had banes in the pistol oh. rafe to be able to do other things to it so yeah because that axer could probably go and put some heavy damage on uh, it depend like under those circumstances i would have popped calandra's mm-hmm. feet i would have put mm-hmm. primal yep. on that axer well and, and if axer... you notice i ran that pistol riff up because after he went up there i then also realized that i left a uh, wrong eye within charge range of rushed axer no oh, yep not even within charge range of rushed axer just walking distance. walking yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i'm like well at this point i need to put the pistol riff in there to do this to block mm-hmm. At... Mm-hmm. yeah yeah so yeah, losing losing the snake really really stuck my battle plan. It was already not looking like the way I wanted it to, and then just that 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 streak of dice just did me in. Because hmm. like a single a single miss, and the snake would have would have would have stepped out of bite range. And even at that point in time, the damage from the miss mm-hmm. coupled with not getting the bite instead of the tail. Well, and yeah, you could have stepped out of bite range and then bit me back with a uh, serpent strike too. Yep. And then there would have been primal, and it just would have been bad. Oh yeah, the, the gator, the gator wouldn't have survived the axer. Um, even if he would have gotten to that point in time, I would have, I would have been happy with the results. Mm-hmm. Um, so here's where I start getting getting desperate because I don't know what I can actually do anymore. Um, the I have to try to get rid of the banes, but I can't just shoot them down because of stealth. And there's the biles that are behind that are going to negate both the benefits of Starcrossed and, like, and the high defense of the Nis, and just wipe them out. Um, and Terminus has a luxury of, of just waiting. Yeah. Like there's there's almost nothing I can I could really do here, and 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 stop the advance. Um, because uh, either I hold back for a round and like like Nate was was suggesting I hold back for a round and just claim um, scenario points, which I could have done. But then the bile walks up and wipes out all my Nis, and Terminus collects all the souls in them and waits around, and then just flies over my army and murders Calandra. Mm-hmm. Or at that point, you know, if I'm sitting on 16 focus, I'll just go for the spell assassination. Yeah, yeah. Hellfire? So, yeah, four Hellfires and a spray <laughs> will kill Calandra unless you don't have, uh, unless you don't cast Starcrossed. So I guess yeah. probably one thing to mention to, to everyone there, too, is it's possible to just take out uh, Wrong Eye instead of taking out Snapjaw. If you take out Snapjaw, mm-hmm. or Wrong Eye, then the Snapjaw just goes away. That's true. But in order for me but, to take out Wrong Eye with this list, I would have had to use basically the Nist to do a combined range. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, and, oh, he, was he submerged. And he too. submerged, too. You would have so, had to send so. the Axer in yeah. after figuring out some way of keeping the pistol ray from blocking that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But so. it's just kind of like a mm-hmm. word of advice for, for people. Sometimes those lessers are... They're not yeah. as good as a normal war- warlock because you kill a normal warlock, their beasts still stick around, but not the lessers. They go away. That's, that's probably the reason you don't actually see um, Rorsch and Brian as much or um, um, Run and, and Lug. Lug because of, of the casters, like those, are, those are the lessers that are a little easier to get. 
Dahlia has got such a high defense and being able to, to, to put stealth in her, or prowl on herself mm-hmm. means that she can get away with a lot. Plus the fact that living things can't attack her in yeah. her And command she's range. got 10 boxes, which means she can cut for da- no, days. She's only, she's only got eight. Eight, but only still, eight. I mean, she's got plenty that she can even cut and keep going long after the snake is gone, too. She's one of the few that's a, that's a four cost as well. I, yep. I mean, it's because she doesn't have anything to, to do with it other than cast spells. She doesn't have a weapon. Yep. Other than just being a, a small-based model that doesn't get attacked mm-hmm. by living models. <laughs> All right, so here's where I start, like, trying to get gutsy. The, the Nyss are actually not charging. They're advancing. They're using that speed 7 so I can opt to melee with some and shoot with others. Um, because I wasn't going to be able to get into some of the some of the back row figures with stealth. Um, and I, was, I wasn't able to charge them, but I needed to be able to close enough to shoot them with stealth, I should say. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out which, which of those Nyss needs to go where. It's so hard to deal with Biles. Mm-hmm. Because you have to kill off all... Well, how many do you have in this list? Is it, it's is just it, a minion. Just six. Just a but, six? like, depending, like, I was considering shooting, just shooting at the vials because the stealth on the Bane Thralls meant I could go mm-hmm. right past them. Mm-hmm. But there was, if, you, if it's hard to tell, but there's one part directly behind Terminus. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't have been able to kill them all. And unfortunately, that one vial still ruins my entire, yep. you know, list. Yep. When, you, when, you have to, when you go to kill them, you have to kill them all. Well, you can sometimes... Um, spread out the, the the damage on them. If you can get them down to one, that one may only have so many options for dealing with the rest of the army. Yeah, if this was a, you know, the traditional Gatsby 2 conga line of vials, you kill the front three and you're pretty safe for a while. Mm-hmm. But once again, with Terminus, I do it in a, more of a wing formation just to be, because I have no threat extension, so my only hope is to throw four or five of them out there and say, can you kill all of them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's kind of how I play Terminus as well, is I just... Had Biles hanging around, mixed up with all the troops. Yeah, and and I mean, you had every right to sit there and play aggressive with them because the only things I had that were really a threat to them were were rock and maybe that snake. Snake snake's gone. Not that you know when you move in that position, and it was easy enough to to lock rock down with that uh, pistol mm-hmm. wraith, which I think. The, oh yeah, the slag troll already blew up the pistol. Oh, that was the impaler. Person. The impaler just moved up and, okay. and hit it with a spear. Yep. Are you ch- just checking your a bomb? I that, that one of them engaged or got engaged by Tartarus. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I wasn't I wasn't actually close enough for a bomb. Yeah, he did a really good job of positioning around that. So I just got sloppy about the the, the terror on Tartar. Hmm. Um, and this is just me taking some melee swipes at the at the banes and dealing what I can doing what I can with them because hitting shouldn't have been a challenge. Damage was pretty good odds. Yeah, even, yeah, Dara has uh, Beyond Death up, but even then, it's, for the most part, it knocks it up to sevens, either yeah. in melee, I mean, sevens, sevens on range, Weapon Master Die. Yeah, yeah, or, like, eights on Weapon Master Die or something like that. Either way, yeah. it was not not terrible odds. And then what's happening is, is the Nists that are just a little bit back are actually shooting at some of the Banes. A lot of those Nists are actually outside of the um, the effect of, of the... Uh, oh, Beyond it. Death. Beyond Death, yeah. Yep. Um, cause that is one of the strong points about the NIS is, is people just kind of, uh, tend to assume that they're just weapon master people with bows. Sometimes you really do have to mix and match how the unit performs. Um, no, I rarely use them as weapon masters. <laughs> I had them just use them as super fast bowmen generally. Oh, the, the way the game is going aside, I was actually really happy with the way they were operating here. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think too many other circumstances would have been able to deal with quite so many Banes unless they had better tech for it. But you, you worked with what you got. Because I would have loved to have that snake get rushed and just slither up eight inches into that pack of you know monsters and drop a eight inch spray or sorry a ten inch spray across them. Yeah, yep. that would have been bad. Yeah, it would have been bad. But that's that's the dream. Oh. Yep, so some tough checks happening, knocking down some of the Banes. Getting what I can. Um, if I remember, I get rid of most of them, except there's one on Terminus's left that just tough, that sticks around the whole time. Yeah, the guy in front of the wall just refuses to die. Yeah, my dice, actually, look at my dice rolls. My dice rolls were pretty good in spots that I just didn't care. <laughs> um... Yeah, 
so I think oh yeah we're running at the last of them this took forever because I had to, to stop and think okay who can shoot at what who can melee with what and who's stuck where as long as I just destroy my own time um, I need to get better at that Excitement. Dice rolls. <laughs> Stuff. I just like, oh, it's just one arm. Just straight <laughs> out into the picture. Not. not <laughs> oh, I think someone asked a question or something at that point in time. Normally, I don't, don't manhandle my dice quite that long. Not when people are watching. Um... <laughs> But I, I, I'm easily distracted, and if someone's a question or something on the side, then that's what will happen. So uh, the room bear goes up, helps out Calandra, because that's what the room bears do. And here I'm just trying to contemplate my actions, because I, I didn't know what I could really do other than that. Like I said, my options were maybe try to kill those biles, but then the banes were going to get me, because even... Even with Starcross and Defense 15, Mad 8 Banes will still be able to get enough done to mess up those NIS for the rest of the game. Yep, Curse is a thing. Yeah, well, plus I can use Malediction as well. Knock him, you know, if I can get him within two inches of Terminus, mm. yeah. he can get in there too. Make him effective Defense 13, it's even easier to hit. Yeah, yeah. It just plenty of ways for you to, to be able to deal with, with what NIS were there. Sorry. No, no. We're, I, I'm, I'm trying to think. Cause I, and I know what happens next, but there's a lot of thinking and contemplating. I don't really want to say anything too much. <laughs> um, and, you know, until it, until it gets to that point of no return. And here's me looking at the cards. Not thoroughly enough. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so at what point did you guys actually get the stream stuff resolved? Were you tuned in by this point? Or? Nope. Uh, maybe. I think Nathan was actually doing some some commentating at this point. Um, but uh, found out that our my mute button on my headset, because I was eating pizza at the time, and I didn't want to be chewing into the camera or into the microphone. Uh, so I kept on muting myself, and it was muting Nathan. So he was doing all <laughs> the commentary, but no one was listening. So, yeah, uh, this next stream that we'll be doing this Wednesday, if we do one Wednesday, uh, will be much better. <laughs> yeah, the first one's always a bit rough. All right, so here's where I, for, for lack of a better term, out and out cheat. Um, <laughs> I didn't read Befuddle well enough and forgot that it didn't work on casters. Oh, so yep. It, it, was, it was half an act of desperation and half an act of just not paying enough attention. So I do it to, to try to flip Terminus up to, to basically pull him out of sacrificial pawn range was the goal. So if we pretend it's telekinesis instead, um, instead of befuddle, it, it works a little bit better. Um, yeah, and it, the thing is, though, befuddle is almost like a telekinesis. It's, it's, it's very... It's worse. Um, Why is that? Uh, um, befuddle can't work on friendly. Befuddle is okay. a, an advance, not a place. Okay, okay. Um, and befuddle doesn't work on casters. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, okay, okay. But otherwise, because I think, isn't telekinesis range 10 as well? Uh, uh, TK is range ten. Yep. Yeah. So uh, yeah, befuddle is a worse telekinesis. Range ten place, and you could do like well, other, correction. Befuddle, you get an extra inch. You can you can advance them three inches instead of the two place. But, okay. But very corner case. But like it'll get revealed later on, like that I that cheated. Someone on the Twitch feed pointed it out. But for purpose of the game, like it was kind of, we we figured out like for for the the poop or potato kind of thing, it wasn't going to make a difference. We we can still very easily do a fair evaluation of lists. Even with that mistake. Yeah, because next. I'll fast forward a little bit. Uh, Madeline is definitely within range to be triggered. I yeah. forgot completely. So that basically right there gives the same three inch advance that Terminus just accidentally got. Yeah, yeah. And, and also includes too, you have Death Ride too that yeah. can. That can actually yeah. turn him around, even Spoilers. if, yeah, even <laughs> even if he was hit with a TK, he mm -hmm. would still right. be able. To He'd turn still be around. flipped around. Yeah, and so basically at this point, I'm just throwing out anything I can to sit there and protect him, putting like acidic acidic touch on Calandra in case a batch of biles gets too close. Um, mm -hmm. I really only have a couple other options, and that's the slag troll. 
Um, and I, I, I pull him up there to see how much damage I can get done on Terminus. Um, so, so with Hot Shot on him from Horgle, I forgot to move the token with him. But um, Hot Shot from Horgle, that Slag Troll can do a lot of damage to Undead. Unfortunately, there weren't a lot of heavy hitting Undead he could target. Could and that you... one b- Bane Thrall that survived all the shooting behind the wall is getting sacked back onto. So. Yeah. Can you sack part the, the the spray? So like if if, if that's not a spray, I mean it's just a, a targeted attack. Oh, I thought I thought the no, slags are sprays. No, it's no rate of fire two single target. Yep. It's still really good. Oh yeah, like with this hot shot and uh, Jeff boosted, it's auto kill of that Bane Thrall. Yeah, yeah. But a uh, tough. So which then? Yeah, yeah. And that point stands a wall. Not, it's not worth trying anything because mm-hmm. I was. I was going to see exactly how much damage I could do to Terminus. If I got some hot dice, I might have been able to at least scare him a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, even uh-huh. dice off 12 with the amount of dice you're rolling, you still can do half of Terminus's boxes yeah. in one hit. So yeah. I, I I just take the second round, I fire I fire uh, the, the second Lugie off at the uh, Bone Jack. They're going to try to kill off some of the options. It's the, really the best target he has at that point in time. Maybe I could have killed one of the Biles, but the rest of them were close enough to do enough damage. Yeah. Um, the feet fixing my my ones. Yeah, you had a, a really good run of ones that turned into fours. <laughs> yes, yes. Because most that that entire feet turn, most of my dice rolls were like, oh, that's really sad. Wait, I've got a feet. You know. Yep. Yeah, there's 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 like a, a six and a four right there, and then yeah, I got another six out of it, and that all but crippled the yeah it, the, jack. the jack has two boxes left, and corrosion. Yeah. <laughs> But with, with Rock basically death gripped, all he can really do is waltz forward at this point in time. Uh, there's our awesome crippled system, crippled system tokens. Which I will say, as a exclusive War Room user, are even better than if you're using cards. Because the number of times I've accidentally cheated due to not having the correct display up is much higher than I really want it to well, be. Even, even with the cards, it's, it's actually really nice to have yeah. those around. Do they do they actually mark uh, crippled systems on like the uh, when you're browsing to the? They do, they, but do, do. you still have to look and uh, you know. Right. My tablet is basically always set for convention power mode, which means you'll see it turn off every thirty seconds, basically, <laughs> so I can make it through f- five to fifteen games a day, like I do. Yeah. Like, you don't want to lose instantly, because yeah. Because your your tablet. Well, and Crix is one of the armies where I literally don't own all the cards for the models I own. Oh, well, I could probably help you out. Yeah, some some armies I was pretty good. Crix, I just flung cards everywhere because that was right <laughs> after I got War Room. So like a bunch <laughs> of them got thrown away when I moved and stuff like that. Oh, womp womp. Yeah. Yeah, but the same thing kind of happens when I run when I run beasts, just because the the whole mindset of if it's not dead, it's good to go, and mm-hmm. like oh wait, you know the important one was wiped out, or oh crud the uh, you know the mind was wiped out, and it's with troll bloods it's even worse than the dyers. The number of times where it's just been like oh well the body's out, so I don't care because he's attacking infantry. I'm gonna paw one you know mm-hmm. lightly, mm-hmm. And or let's it. be honest, oh the spirit's not out. Okay, we'll just add one fury to it. It regen first. Yeah, yeah. And that's the that's the easy solution. It's still not it's not proper play, but yeah, no, yeah, and they can get in very sticky situations with that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's not fair to your opponent when See, you Crump v Hornacek War Machine Weekend <laughs> in 2014. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's the big one. <laughs> it, mm-hmm. But uh, there's also been other incident incidents too, and you know, it's just you know, if yeah. you don't have the, the constant reminder there, it's mm-hmm. very difficult to to notice it. Yeah. And this is me just basically, I think, throwing dice. I don't even remember what I was doing at this point. Uh, the axe is wailing oh. on wrong eye. Yeah. Which was right. good because otherwise you left a, a just a beautiful charge range for a snap jar right on to Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm I'm playing I'm playing poorly, but I'm not playing, you know, terra bad, you know. Other than cheating and all that. But uh <laughs> It was a well intentioned <laughs> cheat. Yeah. Well, like it, it's like most of that turn I was just my, my back was to the wall once that snake was gone. Um if I if I had had it back a, an inch further, I probably could have found something to do. But against that list, I needed that damn snake and that spray. Um. So, well, if you were in the realm of cheating, you should have made it so your slag troll has sprays too. Uh, I could have sworn he had sprays, man. That just you're pulling you're pulling like a Mark One Crick's Bone Jack kind of thing. The uh, the, the the Winter Troll has a spray. Yeah. But the that's winter, what I'm thinking of. Then. Yeah, but the but, Winter Troll's at Rat 4. 
Yeah, no, no, show. but I could have sworn it had a spray because it was eight inches on it. And I, I could have, yeah, never mind. Not everything that's eight inches long sprays. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, but a bump. <laughs> nah, it, yeah. Oh, the winter troll. I really want it to be better than it is. Um, so His yeah. animus is pretty decent. It, the, the winter troll it's, in its entirety is one of those models that will ruin a newer player. Like, a newer person just does not know how to deal with the winner troll. But when you start dealing with experienced players, like most of what our what area has, they just they can they can run circles around it, so it takes a, a new level of clever play to get any use out of it. Yeah. And it start, and the, the value of the five points you spend on winner troll diminishes pretty quickly at that point. It is a great, uh, for the new master ADR thing, it's a great five points if you have extra swap points in there. Because yeah. Then also, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, you have Sorsha, you have Gorshade 3. I no longer fear your assassination run. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But the other eighty-five percent of the time, it's dead points in the water. Exactly. Yeah. I've, yep. I've gotten some some clever use. It's it, it's a very bad impromptu scatter gunner because you can drop the anos in the model in front of it and then spray straight over that model. Oh yeah. But it's still you know a scatter gunner still better mm-hmm. at that job. <laughs> um, so this is this is when I was pointed out. You, you can see the. Uh, the the feet of of uh, Rick who's pointing out my cheating. Um. <laughs> yeah, they actually came through on the Twitch stream. Yeah, about that. They're like, how did Terminus get turned around? They're like, uh, by befuddle. That works on. Yep, yep. So. Yep. But you know, hey, if you don't walk away from a game learning something, it's you know. Well, and the other thing is, I also play trolls. I should have caught it <laughs> at the time of that because I was. Leading up to Adepticon, testing out a Calandra list with Highwaymen built around befuddling yeah. two targets a turn and spinning them around and shooting them with Brayland Highwaymen. So <laughs> I should have known better. <laughs> yeah, but uh, until the Brayland Highwaymen, befuddle was one of the spells that got used fairly rarely. Mm-hmm. Like, if someone left a, a jack or something dangling too far forward, you could exploit it. But otherwise, because of that limitation, it just never got cast. Oh, yeah. But like I said, the entire list was built around it. So I had the Room Bear. I had Bone Grinders. Yep. You know, I have 11 points worth of Highwaymen. So, you know, I have a, a third of the list built around that one really good, but that one trick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, the, the new Highwaymen are so much fun. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was... Uh, I knew it was going to happen. Yeah, that was Bile that, Thrall Purge 1. And that was either going to happen on... on in the middle of the board or my half of the board, no matter how the game went. Yeah. yeah. It's... Because with one vial being able to, to literally live straight behind Terminus, I was never going to be able to get at it without any blast or 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 letting rock charge and assault spray it. The uh, good thing, though, is that the slag troll is immune to it. Y- yes. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it sl- I just shrugged that off. And this round, Calandra is immune to it, too. So. Yep. Mm-hmm. Take that, Cricks. <laughs> And like any good uh, Terminus Bile Thrall turn, I uh, kill, I think, four of my own models as well. Oh, oh it's, yeah. Yeah. it's really with anybody who's Bile Thrall turn is, you know, mm-hmm. you'll end up killing your own stuff. No, it's so... kind of a moot point, though, because there's still one left in, in uh, Tartarus. Yep. And for other reasons, it's a moot point like yep. this. So <laughs> here's where I almost make a bad mistake. Um, I Death Ride, but I only move Terminus. Uh, which at first didn't seem like a big deal to me, but then about uh, two or three minutes later, I realized Janissa has Force Lock, which <laughs> made my charge lane much more tricky because I hit Force Lock, I stop, I'm still on the wall, I launch myself backwards and fail my charge. Yep. So yeah. had yep. I actually death ride everything I needed to, I could have gotten uh, uh, Tartarus up there to maybe kill off Janissa outright. Yeah, force lock is a big, big issue. Mm-hmm. Such a such an awesome ability, and it, yeah, it doesn't look like you can fit his base. It it's it's debatable. It depends when you hit that half inch mark in front of Janessa. Mm-hmm. It, yep. it, it's it hard to tell from the camera, but it was really close. It was not worth risking, in my opinion. I yeah. yeah, well, I mean, that's a fair statement. Regardless, like not worth risking. Like yep. it may have been enough room, but yeah. Good luck. Can you really afford to take that chance? Yep. Looking at that, you would have probably been placed almost all the way back to the, the circle. I would have been b- bounced half back to the circle. Yeah. No, <laughs> absolutely no doubt of that. Hence why, yeah. So here I'm tr- trying to take out Janessa with the pistol wraith because at this point I realize that, you know, 
getting excited about what was going to happen. You know, I cost myself some melee attack and stuff like that. So I'm kind of bouncing back and forth, trying to figure out what I can do. Yeah, because Starcross is still up this turn. Yeah, you can't, when you're going up against Cricks, you really can't afford not to cast that most mm -hmm. turns. Well, and the other thing is I wanted to try and take you out this turn because I didn't have anything else I could deal with Rock. Right. So yeah, I went with Terminus after the Bile Thralls. If I would have gone beforehand, I would have been sitting on 10 souls at this point, and I would have been fine. But it just, especially after we pointed out the befuddle mistake, it didn't feel like it was the best time to just sit here and go, oh, I'm just going to feed and grind. Yeah. And even at that point in time, like if that the Bile Purge took out that many Banes, you were pointing out that, that Rock is still plenty dangerous. Yeah, because he goes up to what, 22, 20, 20? He, he goes up to a 20 with Primal on yeah, okay. Yeah, if you had not feeded last turn, that would have been very scary, even with a good chunk of the Nissa's armor. Yeah. Now, Rock is Rock is pretty murderous. Mm -hmm. It's just he suffers from the same thing most of those Dyers do, where it's just 5-inch speed and uh, no reach. Not that Rock could be fair with reach, yeah. but... Well, the people got to live the life with uh, that Earthborn during that league, yeah. when he could hand out elasticity. So anyways, at this point, I then finally remember that I can charge the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I tried to place the fair advice in a way that, that made it awkward to charge, but mm -hmm. you had enough movement to clear to, to just get far enough. Because otherwise, like... A, Without Death Ride, once again, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Yeah. But I was doing everything I could, but mm -hmm. it doesn't take too much to kind of figure out what happens yeah. here. So, <laughs> so here was, that was my one other clever part of trying to crit thrower first. <laughs> you could just gonna throw her into the in, wall into Janessa, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or, but either way, it would. It's the same effect, but it just yeah. it takes out Starcross from the issue, right? Um, but yeah, basically, he just he. I continue. Yeah, at this point, I'm just like, oh, I hit. Oh, I need to throw another die. I yeah. hit it anyways. Yeah, I, 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 I had three uh, Fury for transfers, which for some reason I put into Rock instead of the Impaler, um, but even three transfers isn't enough to to save yourself from a. For Mr. Terminus there. Mm -hmm. um, Had I failed this, Rock would have actually finished me off pretty easily because yeah. I would have only been, I think, armor 20 or 21. Yeah, because you only have three souls on you. I only have three time. souls, and there is already gone, so I don't have... I'm not the armor 26 I normally am, so it was pretty confident, but there was still some risk involved. Right. But it was, like I said, you had plenty good odds. I, I, I We got down to tough checks, and you still have another... Attack, attack or two I think, that. yeah. So, so we can we can we can write off the rest of the game and start actually discussing the the pooper potato aspect of the lists. Yeah, that's up to um, you guys. I I don't pay attention to it. <laughs> um, this is more of a Nathan thing that they mm -hmm. really wanted to do the pooper potato. Well, did you want to lay off? Or yeah, I can start because mine are pretty simple. Um, I won't lie. This list is up to six points is identical to the Terminus list I was playing competitively last year. It's completely solid, and really all the changes I have are just personal preference. Really, yeah. the big things I did, my list, I dropped one of the two pistol wraiths for a Warwitch Siren and a Machine Wraith, and then I swapped the Death Ripper for a Scavenger. Yeah, well, uh, I, when I first saw the list, I was like, why is anybody even questioning if this is a uh, pooper potato? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's solid gold. And like mm -hmm. I said, I mean, that's all personal preference. I mean, two pistol rays and a death ripper are fine. You can do some... The Arc Node does give you a little I mean, some sneaky tricks that you can do with it. Uh, every so often, if you have extra, you know, fury after... I mean, focus after your feet turn, you know, you can shove a death ripper in the sign and it can do a bunch of damage with sustained attack. Um but the thing I really like about the Warwick Sharon and the Scavenger is you can give it, you can power booster it. It can fly back and unexpectedly push stuff. Mm. The other thing you could do too is you can always just wreck it mm -hmm. for for uh, a cover. Yeah, that is also true. I mean, that doesn't come into play often with Terminus just because he's got so many Sackpon targets. Yeah. But it's but still, it's definitely a thing. it could, you know, if you ran into an E Kane list that had enough, had some sweepers before Kane went. That would be nice then to get him up to an 18 beforehand, because otherwise, you know, King can still finish you off if you don't have enough protection around him. Yep. Yeah. But like I said, that's all this complete, you know, personal preference. The core of the list is completely solid. Yeah. And for, for my side of it, A, this wasn't exactly a, a good matchup, 
the list relied a lot on having high defense targets and being able to do some focused fire, which the high defense target was negated kind of twofold between curse and a little bit of malediction and then bile thralls. So Starcross was not really a, a huge deal in this matchup. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've got other thoughts. I, I'm still kind of confused with people assume Calandra is a quick drop. I'd, I would take Jarl or either the Grims any day of the week. Um, Jarl has a chance to take out some of those really. Oh, I would really have. I would have solos. loved to have Jarl here. I yeah. would have. I would have murdered those biles. I, four biles would have been dead turn one. Yep. Um, or they would have been too far back for me to care. <laughs> yeah. But but either way, um, this list is is one third potato, two thirds poop. Um, <laughs> and and here's here's the reason why is 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 Starcross discs are really really nice but there needs to be some more to it. There are, are lots of ways nowadays to kill high defense models without going to their defense. Um, and when you've only got one unit, they can focus fire AOEs into them too. So bad electro leaps, storm pods, um, bile thralls, all that just walks straight through that. And then, and then you're stuck with, with, a hand, with a fairly large handful of beasts. Um, which are going to struggle at killing lots of infantry. Yeah, yeah, you've got the Axer, you've got an Assault Spray from Rock, um, and you've got the Spray from the Snake, but it's not going to really obliterate a lot of infantry, and all of those are attack-based AoE effects. There's no, yeah. there's very little, like, so if they're playing a high defense army, you're still in trouble. Um, so you kind of, you follow that up with the fact that um, the, the Impaler's only job on that list is to boost the Slag Troll, and the Slag Troll's only job in that list is to be a ranged attacker. So there's a lot of lost effort there. Um, sure. Because with, with, with Rock Around, Primal in most cases is going to be better than Acidic Fists on a beast. Yeah, you frenzy, but... You, so what? You, right. You kind of assume it's going to die anyways. And with the Nis being um, minion models, you can't use Horrible and the Slag Troll to Acidic, acidic Fists those models. One of my favorite things to do with troll bloods is sit there and throw those boosts on like caber tossers or champions or uh, random, blade kith cars, ran, random mortar. Or something. Yeah, th- things that are that are that are dangerous and people don't expect to hit quite that hard. Yeah. Um. So so that Horgle module is is kind of going to waste. There's a yeah. five point impaler that's kind of going to waste. I'll say I. I have done some nasty things with Horgle and Slag Trolls with Coanger, but once again, that's kind of going all in on it being, you know, and it's Horgle with two Slag Trolls, and there's two Impalers on Coanger, and there's no other battle group, and it's all in on that. And then you do mm-hmm. terrible, terrible things on her feet turn, and if they survive, you're boned. But, right. But but the, uh, the, the one-third potato is that I've had a lot of good use out of that Rock, Axer, um, Dahlia combination. Um, that snake is often kind of ignored because it doesn't hit very hard, and it it's not the highlight of that combo. Usually, it's Dahlia going, "You can't charge!" Ha 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 ha. Um, and being able to take that snake and make it kind of a switch hitter between a ranged combatant or a melee combatant, you can kind of throw it away late game. Because honestly, once Dahlia is is middle board, if she's disrupting their command, you don't need the snake for much more. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so that, that little unit makes a lot of work. The Axer helps um, uh, Rock get where he's going without Primal because Rock doesn't normally need Primal. Um, conversely, Rock can put Primal on the Axer and make the Axer really dangerous. It's just there was, there's a lot of points invested in some very, very targeted kind of removal and some, some very, very... It was, it was too much work for the ranged game got at Horgle and his Impaler. Mm-hmm. I would have much rather have dropped that entire unit and the Impaler and picked up like a Swamp Troll and a unit of Pygmies and a, fel- and a Felcaller. Oh, and then the last thing is the the Feral Geist should not have been a Feral Geist. That should have been a Swamp Gobber cr- crew every day of the week with Dahlia in that list. That well, sense. because it, cause even without anything else, Concealment makes that Snake a defense 16. And Dahlia a defense eighteen, and Dahlia's got a spell that gives her or the snake prowl, mm-hmm. so you can have Dahlia behind the cloud, the snake in the cloud with stealth, and make it very very dangerous. Like like that would have solved some of my pistol wraith concerns right then and there. Mm-hmm. Bullet dodger goes on rock instead. Rock sits defense sixteen on the hill against pistol wraith. Questionable even with puppet strings. Yeah, and, it makes and, it and much the snake harder. just can't get shot. Yep. Well, and then the other thing, too, is in a pinch, you put Bullet Dodger on on uh, Calandra, 
you put Calandra in the cloud, and then Janissa can go armor pierce or even worse, tectonic shift something. Yeah. She doesn't have to put up a wall for Calandra not to die. Yeah. So so it, it's – I still like the, the, the poop or potato idea. I just got a, a very uh, – I, I got some poop with a potato in it. Yeah, and okay. I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. It's uh, our first one done. So, yeah. all right. Yep. Sign out. <laughs>